When I die and go, people will come across my teachings on YouTube, Facebook, and my books. And they say, once upon a time, a prophet lived. But now, no one will see it because we celebrate the dead than the living. It's part of life. And me too. Sometimes I celebrate the dead more than the living. It's a human nature. I want to give you a disclaimer before I begin to tell you this. And the disclaimer is, the Bible admitted that not everything in it is the completion of what Christ has done. So which means there are some information that is missing and that if you need that information, you need to contact the Holy Ghost himself to get that information. What is a miracle? So whenever we say a miracle, it is God's intervention on earthly affairs when it is beyond a man and God intervened. It is a miracle. A cripple will be sitting here and I will come to that cripple and tell the cripple, rise up and walk. You see the cripple walking and you said it is a miracle. To you, in your realm, it is a miracle. That is true. But in the realm of God, in the dimension of angels and God, it is not a miracle. There is a process where the legs of the cripple was removed from a factory, exported from heaven to earth. As a matter of fact, angels came down and fixed the legs and then the person began to walk. So to them, what you consider a miracle, they actually consider it labor. They labored it. So what is a miracle in your dimension is not a miracle in the dimension of God because he actually have to do something for that to happen. You call it a miracle because you did not do anything. To him, he has labored. So sometimes even in the realm of God, if he speak, he's laboring. So a man labor by working, God labor by speaking. So God can speak and all of a sudden, whatever the Lord is saying, it is he's laboring. So when the Bible says, and God rested on the seventh day, what did you do and you are resting? And the Lord said, 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 and the Lord said. So he has to rest for saying and saying and saying and keep saying. So saying means he was laboring. If something else have contributed to your creation, that thing would have become another God apart from God himself. So nothing was contributed to your creation. You were created by God. Fully, you were created by God. Being flesh does not make you physical. And being a spirit does not also make you spiritual. So that is why I said witchcraft is what? Physical. The demons you are dealing with, some of them are not spiritual. They are so carnal. They can't even discern if this man of God will come after him or not. That is why they try anything. They don't know what is hot and what is warm. Anything they try. It is when they try it, it burns them. They discover that no, we were not supposed to try it. So if they could have discerned the level of this, your spirituality, if they have the ability to discern the level of your spirituality, which means they will not even come close to you because they know this one is spiritual and this one is not spiritual. But because they can't discern the level of your spirituality, 